Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. Today I want to talk about this third-party BIOS that was developed for my V40 motherboard. Now I uh, actually had nothing to do with this. Uh, this guy has emailed me and told me about what he's done and sent me the link for this uh, GitLab page and I'll include that in the uh, comments so if you're interested you can download it yourself. Now what he's done from what I understand is taken a third-party BIOS that's available and added the V40 setup code and then added the USB boot capabilities and he actually improved on the USB where mine is right now read-only his will do uh, write as well. So what I did to get started we'll try to keep this video as short as I can I just came to his uh, page here and I just went to this EEPROM link here and I downloaded this uh, BIOS.ROM file here. And then, as many as you may already know, I don't actually have an EEPROM writer that's uh, like factory made. I made my own, let's see if we can get it here in the shot, off my Raspberry Pi. Now, if any of you that use this, you come over here and I usually write my code in here and then I can use build and upload it to the chip. Well, where this is a external file, I added a link here to click upload file and then I open the ROM and it uploaded it. Now, my ROM burner is very slow. This took probably a good 10 minutes to write. Uh, the ROM's not in there right now, so it's not even writing to it. Um, anyway, so download it, use whatever software you need to burn it to your ROM, and then you can try it out on the uh, board. So, got my board over here. Now, this is uh, the latest release of my board. The uh, I've got my VGA card on here. Got my ATX power supply. This happens to be a 24 pin. It doesn't matter, you can do 20 pin or 24 pin. The only change from my prior board is I removed the uh, additional uh, transceiver that was there that was unnecessary. So I'm going to go ahead and reposition the camera, I'll pause it, and then we'll uh, demo the software. Alright, so here we are, I booted it up. I'm going to reboot it. I only booted it to make sure it uh, worked. It has been a touch finicky on booting the drive. Uh, it could be any, it could be anything really, but go ahead and uh, reboot. So this is a VGA screen. Alright, it gave me an error. That's the error that I was talking about. We'll uh, do a hard reboot here. See if it works. All right, so it booted up. Now, as you can see, I uh, there's a file there that I ran keyboard. So I'm not sure why, but when I booted it up, the keyboard did not work. So what I did was I made a, bat, or a com file that would run the setup code for the keyboard controller. And we're using the W83C42P for the keyboard controller. So, let me just, we can demo a few things while we check that out. So this is what I wrote for the keyboard. Um, got a AA and then out 64. We uh, loop back to 107 for a little bit. Give us some time to process that uh, AA is a test the keyboard controller. And then we do out 
64, we do 60 out 64, and then 41 out 60, and that sets the mode of the keyboard controller. So you can see debug works just fine. Quit that. Run edit. You can see edit loaded just fine. Hit escape. It's a little bit off the screen here, but it is working. And you know, because this is VGA, if you see my other videos, I'm using a CGA card, you get that snow. I'm getting none of that here. And with this being a regular BIOS, the keyboard actually works where mine doesn't. All works just fine to open. We exit. Um, let's do mem. See what it says we have for memory. We got 512K. We can do version. I'm running DOS 6.22. Now speaking of that, that may be why I had to add that keyboard code is I think the guy that developed this is using free DOS. Not sure sure on that, but uh, DOS 62 is what we're using. Uh, let's do F disk. Load it up just fine. Let's uh, display our partition information. So I've got a 10 megabyte partition on this USB drive. Um, now speaking of that, I, I don't know how much modification was done to the uh, code, but right now, if I remember, when I wrote the, to calculate the logical block address, I'm using a small uh, calculation, not the large. Anyway, that's, it gets, that's too much in detail. But basically, anything over 32 megabytes may not work at this time. I haven't tested that yet. But let's just exit. Everything seems to be working fine. See what else we can test. Um, we got some games we could test. Uh, I was playing these a little bit earlier, and it, um, the screen is still off to the side. So, and it could be this little monitor too. Now we're not getting any sound, but. Unlike mine, you can actually see the bullets in this one. Alright, there's no way to exit. We'll try to reboot. All right, put it back up. Um, let's see what else we can test. So there's DIR, it works just fine. That broke, we'll see. Got quite a few things in here. Try uh, Pack Girl. Now I did not. I was not able to get this one to work on mine. Let's see if it works on this one. So far, so good. Oh yeah. Works just fine. How to get out of this? I don't know if you can. Control break that out of it. See if um, Alley Cat works. Alley 
all I got works just fine, except for they got that screen issue. So anyway, um, like I said, I'll post the uh, link for the to get the BIOS to download it in the uh, description. So thanks for checking out my video.